The Wolf and the Crane Once, when a wolf was eating supper, a bone stuck in his throat. Almost choking to death, the wolf begged a crane to put her head into his throat and draw out the bone. I will reward you generously, the wolf promised. It took the crane only a few minutes to pull out the bone, but when she asked for the reward, the wolf laughed at her. Were you not able to pull your head safely out of my jaw? Is that not payment enough? I should have known, thought the crane as she swiftly flew off. When one serves the wicked, one should expect no reward. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Day after day, a shepherd boy tended a flock of sheep in the hills above his village. One day, just to cause some excitement, the shepherd boy ran down from the hill shouting, Wolf! Wolf! The townsfolk came running with sticks to chase the wolf away. All they found was the shepherd boy who laughed at them for their pain. Seeing how well his trick worked, the shepherd boy tried it again the next day. Again he ran down from the hills crying, Wolf! Wolf! Again the townsfolks ran to his aid in vain. But the day after, it happened that a wolf really came. The shepherd boy, now truly alarmed, shouted, Help! Come and help me! The wolf is killing the sheep! But this time, the town folks said, The shepherd boy won't fool us again with that trick. They paid no attention to his cries, and the wolf destroyed the entire flock. When the people saw what happened to their sheep, they were very angry. There is no believing a liar, even when he speaks the truth. The Fox Without a Tail One day, a fox running through the woods was caught in a trap. He managed to escape with his life, but he lost his handsome bushy tail. Ashamed of the way he now looked, he hid in the forest where no one could see him. In this way, he passed the days, thinking how he could ever face the other foxes. Then one day, he came up with a plan. He ran into the clearing where the foxes were gathered and cried loudly, Look at me, dear friends. Observe that I no longer have my tail. How wonderful it is to be free of all that heavy fur. And see how it improves my appearance? Since all of you are my brothers, I would like you to be as carefree as I am. I myself am ready now to cut off your tails. Brother Fox, said one of the wise old owls, tell me, if you had not lost your own tail, would you be so ready to help us get rid of ours? Are you not eager to see us without tails because then you will feel better about yourself? Misery loves company. The Ant and the Dove A thirsty ant went to the river to drink. To reach the river, he first had to climb down the steep bank on a blade of grass. Halfway down, he slipped and fell into the swirling waters. A dove, perched in a nearby tree, saw the poor ant's desperate plight. Quickly, she plucked a leaf from the tree and dropped it into the river close to the ant. The ant was able to climb up on the leaf and float safely to shore. As soon as he was on dry land, the ant saw a hunter of birds hiding behind a tree with a net in his hand. Seeing that the dove was in danger, he crawled up to the hunter and bit him on his heel. The startled hunter dropped his net and the dove flew off. The dove, perched safely in the tree, called down to the ant. Thank you, my little friend. Not at all, said the ant. One good turn deserves another.